This Java SMS quick start covers both inbound and outbound SMS. We're going to use the code from a guide you can find in the Twilio docs. There are links down in the description if you want to follow along. First, let's talk about outbound SMS. Your application makes a post request to Twilio, and Twilio sends a text message. It's that simple. I'm using Eclipse, and inside of Eclipse, I'll create a new Gradle project called Send and Receive SMS. Once that's done being created, we'll open up the build.gradle file where we can specify some dependencies. We're going to be using the Spark web framework, and it uses a logging framework called SLF4J. So we'll pull that in so that we can see its status as it runs. Then we'll get the Spark web framework, and finally, the Twilio helper library SDK. Once we have our dependencies set up, we can refresh the Gradle project to pull them in. This takes a little bit of time, especially the first time you do it. So rather than wait for that, we'll come back once it's done. Once that's completed, we'll create a new class inside of a package called com.twilio. And I'll call that send SMS and give it a public static void main. Then we'll pull in some objects from the Twilio helper library, the Twilio object, the message object, and the phone number object that we'll use to handle our outbound SMS. Next, we need some credentials from our Twilio account. We need the account SID and auth token that you can find in the Twilio console. These look like this, but I have them stored in environment variables, so we'll use system.getEnv to fetch both the Twilio account SID and the auth token from environment variables. Once we have those, we can initialize the Twilio REST client, passing in the account SID and the auth token. Next, we'll create a message using message.creator. This is going to take some phone numbers. Uh, the first one's going to be the two phone number, and that's going to be my phone number. Phone numbers look like this when you use them in Twilio, but I have mine stored safely inside of an environment variable called my phone number, so we'll get it from there instead. The second phone number we'll pass in here is the from phone number for the message, and that's the Twilio number we purchased earlier in the console. Then we need to pass in a body for the message, and that'll be, this is the ship that made the Kessel Run in 14 parsecs? Yeah, that one. It's 12. Finally, we'll call create on the message creator, and we'll print out the message ID when the message is sent, just so that we know that it's sent out successfully. If we run our code at this point, the message ID will pop up, and a message will appear on my phone. And that's all for outbound SMS in Java. Now let's talk about inbound SMS. A user sends a text message to your Twilio phone number. Twilio makes an HTTP request to your app, and your app returns some instructions in the form of something called Twimmel. If the Twimmel looks like this, then Twilio sends a text message back to the user's phone. Let's write the code to make that happen. We'll start by creating a, another class, this time called receive SMS, and we'll also give that a main function. We'll pull in some dependencies again. We are going to use Spark to create a post route that Twilio can reach out to. And then we need some objects from the twilio.twimmel package, the body, message, and messaging response. We'll start our post route. That's going to be on slash receive dash SMS. And inside of this route, we're going to create an SMS message. That's going to use the message builder. We're going to specify a body for the message builder that's going to say, the robots are coming, head for the hills. Uh, and then we'll build that message. Then we'll use the messaging response builder to create a Twimmel response to Twilio's HTTP request. So we'll create a new messaging response builder, and we'll specify the SMS message to be the message that we created earlier, and then we'll call build on that. Finally, we'll return the XML representation of that Twimmel. We'll run our server, and it spins up on localhost port 4567. Unfortunately, Twilio can't reach that, so we'll use ngrok to create an HTTP tunnel on port 4567, which gives us a publicly addressable URL that we can copy and take back over to the phone number console to where it says a message comes in webhook. We'll paste it in and add slash receive dash SMS. I'll hit save. And then I can pull my cell phone back out and send a message back to our Twilio phone number. We'll say, hi, Twilio. And there's that robot's response. That's all there is for inbound SMS using Java.